knowledge management matrix learning objective to understand the concept of knowledge management matrix to understand the various knowledge creation tools to develop an understanding of knowledge sharing and dissemination tools to have a detailed understanding of knowledge acquisition and application tools matrix what can be measured is not always important and what is important cannot be always be measured albert einstein the term matrix is nothing but measurement of intangible asset like intellectual asset the financial roi can be used to measure the intellectual capital or to measure the knowledge generated from a knowledge workers so the merits matrix are used to measure them the matrix can be classified into two groups namely traditional matrix modern matrix traditional matrix to bins the to bins q is used to measure intangible asset for a long period time in this day measures the ratio between the firm marker valuation and its cost of replacing its physical assets to bin q is equal to firm marker valuation slash cost of replacing its physical assets the limitation of to bin skew there is no identification for knowledge development shortage it measures the intellectual health if an organization only for a given point of time it did not point pinpoint where the firm goes wrong to bin skew does not highlight the firm where to focus for growth it does not say how to prevent intimation points to remember while selecting a matrix the organization must remember the following point before selecting a matrix do not use many matrix the organization use many matrix to measure the past and present performance they also use matrix to evaluate the future opportunities available for them the common mistake made by many organization is that they focus too much on their past and quantity but they really needed to focus on the present and the quality of the information rather than the quantity it is general thumb rule rule that the company can use 20 matrix behind that it is not advisable we can think that by using some matrix will be perfect but in reality they are not so therefore a good matrix must be precise messes the right things and practically applicable matrix used for long term evaluation generally companies have long term goals and they use matrix to evaluate them in such areas the long term objectives must be formulated in such a way that the employees reap short term benefits also by formulating in such a way employee will be motivated to achieve the long term objectives the matrix used must measure today and it must also predict the future outcomes 
Matrix those are easy to control. Always select a matrix that is easy to control rather than choosing a matrix that is added. O control. Because those matrix seems good in theory but it is not possible in reality. They are matrix should be achievable rather than formulating for namesake. Do not need, uh, neglect the soft results. It is well known that organization give importance to financial result or hard result, but they need to give equal importance to soft result related to suppliers, managing people and customers. It is not advisable for the management to focus on hard results and expect low level managers to take care of the rest like financial success. This is due to the family many research has provided that hard and soft messes go hand in hand for growth of the firm. Measuring and paying for performance, learning objectives. The importance of relating kinds and levels of employer provided rewards to kinds and levels of employees contribution. The problems related to measuring and relating employees performance. Motivation and its influence on employee workplace contribution and result. Merits pay and the critical needed to relate to pay to performance. The relationship between a number of critical government regulation and the measuring and rating of performance. The design of performance appraisal instrument. The development of a performance appraisal instruments best suited for a particular organization. Pay for performance in a knowledge. Slightly more than a hundred years ago, large number of workers in the United States moved from agriculture jobs into industrial jobs. In the factories and mills, workers produced an easily absurd and measured output by performing a limited number of actions. Frequently repeated daily, if not hourly, on a sequential basis. In this setting, industrial engineers were extremely successful in increasing output by relating employee pay to unit producer. This factory work required limited database development and knowledge acquisition by workers, but placed significant demands on physical capabilities. Now, in the first decade of the 21st century, factories and mills are providing employment for less than 20% of the U.S. workforce. Many of the heavy physical jobs in these factories and mills have now been replaced by individuals operating keyboards. The control computerized robots that do the heavy work and the uh, repetitive exercise. Although the present Great maturity, majority of workers are now finding employment in service related organizations. For example, bank, 
இன்சூரன்ஸ் கம்பெனி யூட்டிலைஸ் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ட்டேஷன் ஃபுட் அண்ட் லோடிங் லோக்கல் ஸ்டேட் அண்டு ஃபெடரல் கவர்மெண்ட் ஸ்கூல்ஸ் த டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் அண்டு சர்வீஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி ஜாப்ஸ் ஆர் பிகமிங் ஈவன் மோர் ப்ளர்ட் பிகாஸ் சம் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் லேபர் இன்ஸ்டன்சிவ் ஜாப்ஸ் டுடே ஆர் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் சர்வீஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் இன் விச் கிளக்ஸ் சிட் அட் a terminal all day entering day data into a computer or manually reviewing starting and filling forms this data entry and analysis job in service sector business may be the factory job of the 21st century the knowledge directed workers in conjunction with this transaction from form a manufacturing workforce for to an office or service related work environment the nature and king of assignment performed by many workers have changed and still are changing the term knowledge directed or gold color workers is often used to describe modern day employees instead of using physical strength within a receptive motion and time directed work environment this workers must make much greater use of their intellectual faculties with a problem solving rather than performing mechanist respective work assignments in effective knowledge of more different kinds of activities in order to make the correct decisions required in performance of job assignments because so much of the work goes on inside the brains of this knowledge directed workers it is difficult to identify recognize or quantity through observation the quality of their contributions or outputs it is also difficult to determine with any degree of precision how many workers are required to produce a specific output this definition problem plays more emphasis than ever before on the work to be done by each employee barriers to pay for performance a number of barriers block the design of incentives for this kinds of jobs some of the more critical are this the work of individual employees can vary significantly from day to day it may be difficult to observe a complete work cycle a number of activities may be performed one once a week once a month once a quarter or upon the occurrence of a specific situation the time required to perform an assignment might not be a good indicator of the importance of the assignment relative to all other assignments included within the job or of the knowledge and skills required of the job holder an individual might interact with different employees or clients at different times to complete a work assignment and the results achieved might depend directly on the cooperation 
and skill of the other employees or clients involved in the interaction. The barriers limits the use of industrial engineering motion and time practice for designing pay for performance programs for the knowledge. Directed workers realizing this by the 1950s incentives plan designing designers began seeking assistance from behavioral scientists involved in developing motivation theories and concept. Knowledge acquisition and application. Knowledge acquisition is the process used to describe the rules and ideologies required for a knowledge based system. It is the process of extracting knowledge from expert and this knowledge into reliable forms. Expert system were one of the first successful applications of artificial intelligence technology to real world business problems. Researchers as Stanford and other A1 laboratories worked with doctors and other highly skilled experts to develop system that could automate complex takes such as medical diagnosis. Unit till this point computers had mostly been used to automate highly data incentives takes but not for complex reasoning. Technologies such as inference engines allowed developers for the first time to tackle more complex problem. As expert systems scaled up from de demonstrations, prior types to industrial strengths. Application it was soon realized, realized that the acquisition of domain expert knowledge was one of it, not the most critical task in the knowledge engineering process. This knowledge acquisition process became an intense area of research on its own. One approach to knowledge acquisition investigated was to use natural language passing and generating to facilitate knowledge acquisition. Natural language Posting could be performed on manual and other expert documents and an initial first pass at the rules and objects could be developed automatically. Text generation, generation was also extremely useful in uh, generating explanation for system behavior. This greatly facilitate the development and the maintenance of expert system. A more recent approach to knowledge acquisition is a reuse based approach. Knowledge can be developed in that conform to standards such as the web language the web ontology language OWL in this way language can be standardized and shared across a broad community of knowledge workers. One example domain where this approach has been successful is bioinformatics. Some techniques used in the process of extracting information are interviewing, observation, protocol, analysis, and brainstorming. 
it is ideally driven by strategies for example an organization decides what knowledge is needed what it has and then fills in the gap by developing new knowledge or acquiring it knowledge acquisition has several application uh, that we will be discussed codifying explicit knowledge converting upon knowledge to categorical form by way of codifying and to acquire this tacit knowledge and the explicit meta knowledge knowledge about knowledge this is basically a directly which knows what and how to con- content then the aim of the codification is to make it easily to organize L- locate share store and use the knowledge common materials including codified knowledge or manual spreadsheets decision support system and procedures any how the codification process is generally expensive and it difficult to code for universal understanding to knowledge application at individual group and organizational level knowledge application refers to actual use of knowledge that has been captured or created and put it into action the knowledge application at the individual levels individual different difference play a major role in variety of behavioral science knowledge worker vary with respect to their similarity to the subject matter of their personality and cognitive style <coughs> a number of studies found a significant correlation between the proprietors of online search and cognitive style of leaders on the other hand the business world strongly favors the use of instrument such as meyer bridges type indicators personality assessment style to assess the difference in personality style some have been made to correlate with the mbti types of knowledge sharing behavior in a study from consulting firm price waterhouse cooper's indicates that a strong outgoing personality is important to share knowledge regardless of the qualification and the previous experience characteristics of individual who seeks to apply a reuse of knowledge may play a role in how effective he is in finding and understanding and use of the knowledge of the organization the individual characteristics may include for example force of personality individual preference about how best they learn how they prepare to receive their information and how they can help to put that knowledge to work it can be performed performed for 